Hi, my name is Heather. I'm doing my persuasive speech over why federal minimum wage should be increased. Federal minimum wage right now is $7.25, and minimum wage is the lowest wage that employers or business can pay their employee. Since COVID, there has been an increase on prices such as groceries and housing, and it's causing people to have um, a hard time meeting their basic needs. Meeting, meeting your basic needs is shown to be a human, basic human right for people. Um, right now, with all the increases, minimum wage just can't keep up with the current prices that everything is set at. So, I just want to give a couple of positive outcomes that could come about if minimum wage was increased. One of them would be economic growth. And then another one would also be economic equality because everyone would be able to have a fair wage. So one of the first um, articles that I did read about is called, Is Raising Minimum Wage a Good Idea? Evidence and Implications for Social Work. So um, raising a minimum wage would help bring people out of poverty. It would help people to be able to afford housing. They would be able to afford food. And then not only that, um, if people had a higher wage, it would get them off of systems such as TANF, food stamps, and then hopefully there would be some increase of money going back into the state that was once used. Um, Like I said before, a lot of people think that uh, a fair living wage is a civil slash human right that everyone should receive. Right now, 725 just is not cutting it for the inflation that is currently going on. Um, another point is, um, according to the article, arguments for and against the $15 minimum wage for healthcare workers, Low wages can determine your health. Low wages can um, lead to poor health and behavior. So if you're working a job um, that you don't like, you're working every day, but you're not even making enough to meet, uh, to make ends meet, you might end up with depression with depression um, and low-wage workers, a lot of them do uh, self-related poor habits such as smoking, and that can also lead to health problems over time. Um, if you're working for a low minimum wage, you might not be able to afford the health care that you need to take care of yourself, which in the long run is just not going to cause um, a healthy or happy life for the worker and that's where uh, a fair minimum wage would come in say $15 an hour it would at least help people you know go to work every day uh, and know that they're just having their you know basic needs met um, right now the um, falling inflation um, hasn't been um, the wages haven't been adjusted over the years to keep up with that and it's been about 40 years that um the minimum wage just isn't keeping up um every year such as prices being increased um and then another point with that is um if people aren't making a fair minimum wage they're not always living in the safest neighborhoods maybe they don't have access to clean water and again, they're not having access to the healthy foods that they need to help their uh, keep their life living healthy. Um, another point I wanted to make is increased voting. There has been studies shown that increasing the min minimum wage can help voters um, increase rather than um, the states that don't increase the minimum wage, they don't have a higher uh, voters turnout than those that do. Um, according to the article, more money, more turnout, minimum wage increases voting. The city employees, um, school classroom aides, parks and 
uh, recreation workers. They were the ones that were used for the studies. And they uh, had their minimum wage increase $1.75. And the voter turnout went up 7% between 2012 and 2016 compared to the states that did not increase their minimum wage. Um, low wage workers will think that voting sometimes doesn't help uh, economic uh, equality rather than it causes inequality. Um, people will think that their vote actually doesn't count. So increasing the minimum wage has helped these people see, wow, you know, getting out there and vote can actually make a change. So increasing the um, minimum wage can help the voters uh, start getting out there, voting more. They'll uh, be available to uh, vote on other topics as well, which overall is going to cause um, economic growth and economic equality to um, occur over time. So another um, point I wanted to make is that oh, so people think that since the COVID pandemic, um, people just had the unwillingness to work. But in reality, it's just that there's a lack of good paying jobs. <clears throat> so um, a study according to the article, Higher Minimum Wages Support Growth as the Economy Recovers from COVID-19. It shows that minimum wage lost 21% of its value over the year due to inflation. I mentioned that earlier, due to inflation, a lot of uh, low, low wage workers cannot afford their basic needs. It shows that the service industry has been um, affected the most due to the COVID pandemic, but the states that did increase their minimum wage has seen an increase of those workers again and that they're on a, a higher recovery rate from the COVID pandemic than the states that did not increase. Since January of 2021, 25% of the employment growth has uh, increased compared to the 7% of those who did not increase their minimum wage and that's actually uh, considered uh, the tipped workers as well who make 213 an hour. So um, the 29% of the tipped employees increased unlike the 6% of tipped employees who did not have an increase in their pay. So um, it goes to show that the job shortage that happened uh, during the COVID pandemic, it wasn't necessarily due to the unwillingness of people not wanting to work. It's just that there was a lack of jobs for uh, good paying jobs for people and they couldn't cover, you know, say like childcare costs. That was something they couldn't afford um, so they could actually go to work. So um, a counter argument for this is that people think that there would be a decrease and people would lose jobs. But as I pointed out in my last point, that um, increasing minimum wage can actually help increase the jobs who have uh, possibly lost employees due to not having um, good enough pay. It also shows, um, studies show that 10% um, increase could lead to 1 to 2% job loss. But again, we could implement policies that would help protect current employees to be able to actually keep their job, keep their hours at the increased uh, minimum wage that would be uh, implemented. Um, and that would be, according to the article, is raising minimum wage a good idea, evidence and implications for social work. So um, overall, raising minimum wage would help increase economic equality because people would be able to afford their basic needs, but people would also be encouraged to get out there and vote um, on other uh, economic needs that need to be taken care of. Um, and also, it's just like I said, people should be able to afford their basic needs. Without a fair living wage, it's not possible and affects people in all ways. Um, their living conditions, their mental health, their job satisfaction. Increasing the minimum wage would help with um, a lot of those issues that are a problem here in America, including the inflation that is still going on today. So thank you guys, have a good night.